Hey guys, what's up? It's Jimmy from DB Game Boys here, and I was literally about to fall asleep and literally, you know, just laying there doing nothing when I opened up my iPhone and decided to check out YouTube a little bit and maybe look at some of the speculation towards Call of Duty Ghosts and see perhaps what other other gamers and other commentators were saying about it. I came across a couple videos that I was absolutely stunned to see people are disgustingly inaccurate in their their uh, speculations towards what the game will be about, and just throwing any piece of thought that pops into their dumb little heads about the game. So let me just point out to you guys right away, Ghost from Modern Warfare 2 is dead. He's not coming back, everybody. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but he's, he's dead. He's not coming back. Anybody who says that he lived in Modern Warfare 2, I, I, I used to think, you know, he could be coming back in Modern Warfare 3, you know, when there was that speculation that he might not be dead. You know, I always thought that, too. You know, it'd be cool. But he's dead. It's unfortunate, but he's dead. Um, he's not going to be a, a character in this this uh, whatever game. Second of all, in the leak, that uh, the, the first website that leaked the, uh, the picture, I forgot what the name is, in their product description, it read that Call of Duty Ghosts was a brand new game in a brand new location with brand new characters. Why in the name of Her Majesty would they include Ghost in that in that category, that mantra? That doesn't make any logical sense, guys. Why on earth would a company that, first of all, leaked the image that probably knows what the product description for the actual game is going to be make an inaccurate product description? That makes logically no sense. Third of all, the mask for Ghost is not even similar to this mask. It's, it's a skull painted on a black ski mask Belkalva thing, yeah. But Ghosts is the bottom section of a skull. This is the top section of a skull. There's no sunglasses. There's no headset. There's no nothing. This isn't Ghost. Ghost is English. This guy, you know, I, I'm, I'm wagering is American. I don't know. But it's not Ghost. This, this is not going to be a spinoff of Ghost's life or anything like this. This is an entirely different game, guys. For those of you that are spe speculating that this is going to be the downcline of Call of Duty, I don't see that at all. I actually see this as, a, as an upswing. I feel that the new engine, the entirely new storyline, and the entirely new characters will give new life to the series. Because, as you all know, since Call of Duty Five, every or since Call of Duty Four, excuse me, every single game has been a sequel to the previous. So, you know, maybe as an entirely new series, this could bring new life, an entirely new engine, an entirely new console, an entirely new system of doing things could bring fresh life to the series. That's that's what I'm saying. That's how I, I stand firm in that. But anyone saying this game is going to be about ghosts and about any previous characters, they're, they're simply just challenged. They, they don't know anything about gaming. They don't know anything about the series. And they call themselves gamers, and they call themselves COD enthusiasts, when in reality, they don't know anything, and they probably should be making videos if they feel that they've got any kind of real chance at predicting what this game's gonna be about. If you like my two cents, I'm gonna tell you right now. This game, I see it as one possibility and one possibility only. I see it as the characters in the game are, are, are the ghosts. The characters we'll be playing as. These characters are mercenary, militia, vigilante type people. They're not organized soldiers. They are freedom fighters, I guess you could say. They're either fighting some kind of outside force that has come and occupied America, or they are American soldiers that have defected from the American Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, whatever. They've defected. And they're now fighting the U.S. government because of the U.S. government being corrupt or something along those lines in the distant future. That's how I say this game. These ghosts are not soldiers. They're they're you know they're trained guys that are mercenaries, vigilantes, etc. And they're fighting what they feel isn't correct. And they're wearing the masks in order to protect their identities and protect family and whatever. Because there's that that tagline: "There are those that wear masks to protect us all." It, it's not. Ghost, guys. That That's not what they're aiming for here. I don't see that at all. I don't see this as a spinoff. Because if you know anything about economics, you'd know, hey, Call of Duty's been called all kinds of stuff about, you know, being the same game over and over again. Why would a multi-million dollar co corporation like Activision and Infinity Ward make a game that's a spinoff? That doesn't make any logical sense. They're obviously going to make a new game entirely, and that's what they've done. So, don't be listening to these idiots that are out there making random videos that 
they have no idea what they're talking about. Listen to some people that actually have put together some intel, have watched these trailers, and have are, are just not stupid, essentially. I'm not going to tell you guys anything that isn't true. Unless information's confirmed or it's very, 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 very plausible, I'm not going to put out information that's not true. I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to do anything like that. I gave you what I think the game might be about, and I told you what it's definitely not going to be about. That's all I know. Um, I'm not going to speculate like these guys are going, oh, it's, it's ghosts, it's ghosts, when it's, it's clearly not. So thank you for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you weren't too offended by my rant. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice night. If you want any other intel, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be quick to answer them as quickly as possible. And more intel on the way coming May 21st. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.